What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to Janae's Gab Fest. And guess who you're talking to? Janae. I know. <laughs> what a surprise, right? You already know what we're talking about today. Today, we're going to be discussing affirmations. All right. What affirmations are and the mindset that we need to be in when we're speaking on our affirmations. All right. I want to start off this video by reading you guys one of the affirmations that I say to myself daily. It is one of my favorite affirmations. I am a wonderful energy being. There is nothing that I cannot achieve. Everything always works out magnificently for me. I lived a charmed life. Things are supposed to and always do go well for me. Seize part for me. I have the resources of the universe at my disposal. Good things come to me. I see. All right. So a lot of you may not understand what that means, why I am speaking the way I'm speaking when saying that affirmation. So I'm going to explain to you the things you need to say, the present tense, and the exact words that needs to be used. Okay. All right. So to properly understand what an affirmation is, Let's break down this word. So affirmation, the beginning part of that word is to affirm, which means to yes, to state as a fact, all right, to assert strongly, right? So if you take that definition and you apply that to affirmation, what that means is the action or the process affirming something or something being affirmed it also adds emotional support or encouragement. So when you are speaking of an affirmation, you are confirming something to be true in its present tense. For example, I am a spiritual being. Okay, I am confirming that this is what I am. All right, I'm saying yes to this statement because this is what I am. So Janae's definition of an affirmation is present tense statement or a fact you are confirming or believing to be true as a way to provide emotional or encouraging support to yourself all right so let's break that down right how to affirm how to confirm something for your life right these will become your statements to help transform and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts in order for them to work properly in your life you must believe believe you have to believe it so if your affirmation is i am a millionaire which it can be that is something that you may want to believe for your life however that affirmation is not going to become true if you do not believe it you have to believe that you are deserving of becoming a millionaire you also want to repeat these affirmations to yourself constantly on a daily basis if not more than once throughout the day you can repeat them as many times as you want for me when i started with affirmations i started as a thinking process so i would just think my affirmations for a long time because a lot of our problems start with our thoughts we're sitting at home we're sitting by ourselves we're sitting with a group of people and we're thinking hmm i'm poor i don't have this i don't have that oh i can't wait till my circumstances change your circumstances are never going to change because of the way you're thinking. You have to change your mindset first for everything else to fall into play. All right. So how to properly change your mindset? What type of mindset do you need to have when speaking about your affirmations? You want to be at peace. You want your mind to be at peace. You want your mind to be in gratitude. You want to be grateful for where your life is right now. If you are not grateful for everything in your life right now, you will never receive more, okay? You have to be grateful and appreciative of everything that you have. Even if you are sharing a room with three other people, be grateful that you are not sleeping outside like some people are. There's always someone less fortunate than you. So you have everything to be grateful for. You woke up today. You're able to watch this video. You have something to be grateful for. Okay? Put your mind in gratitude. A way to help your mind is to meditate. Try meditating. You know? And a lot of people are like, well, I don't know how to meditate. It literally just starts with breathing. All right? The simplest way to start meditating, get you some music that calms you down. 
I have plenty of songs that I listen to. Sometimes I listen to just random chakra songs on Apple Music. Apple Music has a lot of great meditating songs that you can listen to. Um, one of my favorite songs to listen to is Janae Aiko's Trigger Mantra. I absolutely love that song. That song for me became the first song that I started meditating to. Now I meditate with other music and things like that, but that was my very first one because it's a very calming and relaxing song to listen to. And at that time in my life, I was dealing with a lot of things that would randomly cause me to become upset. And if you've ever heard the Janae trigger mantra, you know that she speaks a lot of calming down, relaxing, slowing down. So um, that is very good for people in the beginning stages, in my opinion, um, to just help get your mindset in a relaxed state so that you can be grateful for what you have. So start first with trying some meditation, trying taking some time to yourself. So you want to go to your silent place, your happy place. All right. Um, you just want to be able to be one with your thoughts and just think. Think about everything in your life. It's okay to say, well, I don't know what I'm grateful for. Think about your life and think about the people whose life may be worse than yours. And that'll let you know exactly what you need to be grateful for. All right. Again, before we start our affirmations, we want to put our mind at ease, at peace in our silence. And then we want to start becoming grateful and appreciative of everything that we have. All right. Then from there, you want to start to believe that you are deserving of more. You are deserving of these affirmations, all right? You have to believe something in order for it to come true, all right? Going back to just old-time remedies, wish upon a star. When you're wishing upon a star, you are believing that your wish is going to come true or else it's pointless to wish upon that star, right? Because you're doing a disservice to yourself. There are some do's and don'ts to affirmations, all right? Only write affirmations that you believe to be true or you believe you are deserving of in your life. So touching back to I am a millionaire. If you truly believe in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit that you will be a millionaire one day and that is an affirmation that you want to come true in your life, by all means, but you need to believe and realize that if I want to be a millionaire, there are going to be certain actions and certain things that I need to do to become a millionaire. You can't just believe an affirmation to be true and then put no work behind it. You have to put work behind these affirmations. All right. So that's the main thing. Only write, say affirmations that you believe or you desire to be true in your life. Use your feelings. If you're not sure what affirmations fit your life or what affirmations you need to start saying to your life. Think about how you feel inside. Take any negative thoughts that you have about yourself and turn it into that positive. I am overweight. I am losing unnecessary weight from my body. All right. You see how we just changed that? Like we just changed that that fast, right? I do not have money. I am constantly receiving money from multiple sources. All right. You just want to change that negative. I am ugly. You're not, okay? I am is a very powerful word. Do not put anything after I am that you do not want in your life, all right? I am stupid. Absolutely not. You're not stupid. Don't tell yourself that because you will become stupid. Everything you say is your life. The more you say I'm broke, the more you say I don't have, you will continue not to have. You will continue to be broke. When you start off saying affirmations, you are speaking in future tense okay you have to speak in future tense it's going to sound weird to your tongue it's going to sound weird to people that are around you because you're like what what are you talking about you don't have money you don't have this you don't have that but baby yes i do because it's coming to me and i believe that i'm going to receive it so that's why i'm speaking on it get how that works i am is a very powerful statement do not use anything after i am that you do not want in your life i am a better communicator I am better at communication. I am better at understanding. I am happier with my life. I am satisfied for where I am. I am grateful for everything I have. All right? These are all of these affirmations that we want to talk about. Words that we want to start our affirmations with, I am, I have, I will, I do, I feel, I can, I believe, all right? We want to start our affirmations with all of those words. Those are, those are a lot of sentences that you can come up with, okay? Those are very powerful words to say. 
all right so let's just go over a few affirmations that we can use for these words right i can achieve everything that i put my mind to i can have unlimited income from multiple sources i can become everything that i desire all right i feel grateful for everything that i have in my life i feel i am deserving of receiving more from the universe i have abundance i have wealth i have financial security i have financial stability i have what i want i have what i desire all right but you want to be clear on your desires. And being clear on your desires is when we get into manifesting. So affirmations and manifesting go hand in hand. Now, I'm not going to go into manifesting too deep. But when you manifest, it connects with things that you are affirming in your life. All right? So don't worry, guys. I have a manifestation video coming soon. And we will break down how to properly manifest things that you may be affirming in your life. Or just manifesting things in general. All right? I will. I will be a better listener. I will receive $100 because I am deserving of it. So, let me just say. You have every right to ask for what you desire. All right? Anything that you desire and you feel you are deserving of receiving, you can have. You are in control. But you have to start by changing your mindset, change your thinking, put your thoughts into gratitude, into gratefulness, into appreciation for everything that you have. And then you, you transform those thoughts into manifesting. You want to begin now manifesting those desires. So if I am saying I am financially stable, okay, how are we going to manifest becoming financially stable? You need to think about ways in your life that can make you financially stable, okay? If you are currently at a job that is not aligned with you becoming financially stable, manifest a new job, manifest new income, new ways to make income for you. you only you know what you desire. You really have to think about your desires to know what you need to affirm in your life, all right? I am going to read off some... I am affirmations for you guys, okay? These are, so I'm going to actually show you, just so you know. So people ask sometimes, where do I write these affirmations? You can write your affirmations anywhere, all right? I have multiple books for affirmations. All right, so I have one book right here. The first affirmation I have is on a sticky note. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. That is an affirmation that I say to myself every single day. All right, I have another book. This one is a free your mind notebook. And this one, I have just been writing affirmations in here. So I'm gonna read you some of the affirmations. So you guys can just use these affirmations for yourself. Use these affirmations as an idea of things you want to affirm in your life. I'm just gonna read off some I am strong. I am love. I am compassion. I am worthy of receiving more from the universe. I am smart. I am deserving of unconditional love. I am gratitude. I am understanding. I am wealth. I am a money magnet. I am financially free to do whatever I want, however I want, whenever I want. I am grateful to receive back every cent I spend 10 times. I am financial freedom. I am abundance. I am divinity. I am desire. I am deed. I am destiny. I am will. I am responsible for the energy that I put out into the universe. I am protected. I am courageous. I am blessed. I am successful. I am healed. I am beautiful. I am forgiving. 
I am confident. I am powerful. I am divine's masterpiece. I am self-sufficient. I am a magnet for financial abundance. I am manifesting excellent credit into my life. I am positivity. I am no longer subject to live in an environment that triggers me to become angry or upset. I am going to win career-wise. I am going to win mentally. I am going to win financially. I am going to win in love. I am going to win in life. I am going to receive great happiness in the form of wealth, love, and abundance. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am going to change myself first so that everything can align for me. I am going to take responsibility for my life. I believe all of these to be true in my life. So it is A-S-E. Is what I call the spiritual amen. So when we end a statement to the universe, we say I see to affirm, to confirm, to yes, to believe in what we are asking for. So, we end that when we are manifesting as well as when we are affirming things in our lives. All right, All right guys. So, it is hoodie segment on Janae's Gap Fest. So, I am going to stand up for you guys as always and show the hoodie that I am wearing today. Excuse me, guys. Don't mind my blanket. It says Boss Up. This is my Boss Up hoodie. And this is actually a second shout out for this company. This is another hoodie from Indestash.com. I, of course, will have them linked down below. And this hoodie comes in multiple colors. He, as in the owner, has actually revamped his boss up hoodies and has new versions of his boss up hoodies out which i will be ordering some more of those pretty soon i absolutely love supporting his company he's a super cool guy so definitely again make sure you guys check it out again this is my boss up hoodie i have this hoodie literally in three colors guys i have a red one a gray one and i have a black one all right i love this boss up hoodie and i cannot wait to get some new hoodies from him because again like he has re vamped the design of his boss up all right and they're super fire guys so again you can purchase these hoodies at in the stash.com it will be linked in my description guys, box that is the first part of our affirmations video now on this video i've touched on just a few affirmations that i use in my life as well as how to properly affirm things into your life if you guys would like any more details, any more videos just on affirmations more in depth, please comment them down below and we can definitely discuss them more. Now, I do want to let you know I do have two to three more affirmation videos coming. One affirmation video will be specifically on my December affirmations. Then it will be a video specifically on our 2020 affirmations as well as a strict video on all affirmations so it'll just be a video playing of all affirmations so that you guys can have a video just to listen to affirmations all right all right so i want to thank you guys for joining me today i truly appreciate it if you have made it to the end of this video please give this video a thumbs up i truly appreciate it and if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any updates because your girl is dropping consistent videos all december not technically vlogmas because that's every day but your girl will be dropping multiple videos during the week okay thank you again for coming to janae's gab fest you always can email me at gabwithjanae at gmail.com all right my email is always open for any private conversations if you want to discuss anything that you are going through and you just want my advice or if you have any video topics that you would like me to discuss on this channel you can always email those to me as well i appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been giving me and again thank you so much for joining my channel and have a great night